What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Future Scuba and Marina and we're headed up the lake to do another search and recovery and don't worry, I will commentate this one for you. Uh, one of our slip customers here at the marina is at our local sandbar and said he lost the ladder off his boat. Uh, it's about 15 foot deep where he's at. Now thankfully he's anchored down so we've got a generalized area where to search but I probably will be doing a circle search on this particular dive. Um, I'm going to use his anchor as my swivel point. I'll hook my reel to it and then circle around the anchor a couple times until we find it. It's about 15 foot of depth, so my search radius is only going to be about 15 feet, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find it. So we got to get up the lake here and get on it and see how good we do. Alright guys, so here I am fixing to do my giant stride. I'm just going to hop in off the boat here. I'm about 15 foot of water where I'm jumping in at. But I've got to swim around to the other side of the boat for my descent line. And like I said, I'm just going to be using the anchor line of the customer's boat. Since the boat has moved, but yet the anchor line is not, that's going to give me a good uh, downline or reference line to start the search. Uh, here I'm coming along the bottom. As you can see, the visibility is not too good. It's about a foot and a half to two foot vis. Um, but I'm swimming over to the anchor here, and then as I make my approach, I'm going to hook my reel up, and I'm going to use this as my reference or as my swivel point uh, for my circle search. So I'm just going to simply hook up the reel here, and once I've got it uh, secured, then I'm going to start a circle, and I think I'll start around a 5-foot uh, radius to begin with, and then move out to a 10-foot radius, and then a 15-foot radius. Um, even though I'm only dealing with 15 foot of water, um, which my search radius would be 15 foot, uh, it was a little bit more on this one because the boat was moving. Even though the anchor wasn't moving, the location of where the boat was when the ladder came off versus where it was at when I started to search is two different areas. So as the boat kind of circled around, um, that kind of threw my search radius off a little bit. And here I'm just swimming along the bottom, making sure I stay neutrally buoyant. Don't want to stir it up any more than what it is. And I'm just going to circle a couple times uh, in one direction, then I'll extend the line out, circle back in another direction, extend the line out, and just continue on uh, until I find the object. Now, one of the techniques that I use if I'm by myself, such as this dive here, to let me know that I made a full rotation, you can't really see it on camera, but I'll take my hand and right where I start at, I'll kind of cut a line down in the seal or make a notch or if I find a bottle or something, stand that bottle up as a reference point. So once I've made one complete rotation and I see that bottle or that, that line that I dug down in the seal, it lets me know that I've made one complete rotation and then I can let line out. So I should be finishing up a rotation here because like I said, this first one's only about five feet. It's not very far at all. But I should be finishing up a rotation here and then you'll see me slightly turn to let some line out. I'll go to, in here I'm turning of course and letting a little bit of line out. Um, I'll go to a 10 foot radius at this point and I'll continue to search. And as far as how far you should let line out to do your search well it's based off visibility i've got two to three foot visibility here it's not you know not very good um, but I, I can almost see fingertip to fingertip so in reality i've got about five foot of viz there so with that being said i'm just going arms length length to uh, conduct the search course there i was letting a little bit more line out and i'm on my second pass now just swimming along now i'm actually going pretty fast under the water i would suggest if you're new to search and recovery go a lot slower than what i'm doing uh, i do this on a pretty regular basis it's something i'm used to this is our local sandbar course where we do most of our treasure hunting so i'm very very familiar with it uh, one of the biggest concerns and i'm not sure if you can hear it but there's a lot of boats up on the surface uh, i'm gonna say there was at least 30 to 40 boats there in the area where i'm doing the search at so you always want to be careful you always want to uh, know exactly where you're at you if you have to make an ascent that's not on the line you always want to come up slowly and make sure that you don't run into a boat or a boat run into you um, but safety is always key when you do something like this if this would have been a normal holiday weekend 
I would have simply told the customer I'll come back tomorrow or early in the morning when there's no boats out here. But where he was located at, I felt pretty uh, secure and safe that I could conduct the search without actually getting ran over by a boat. Now, I'm finishing up here on my second sweep. There you can kind of see that cloud right there in front of me. That lets me know that I've made one complete rotation. And that's what I was telling you. I made a mark in the seal and it kind of stirred it up well, as I swam around and got back to that stirred up point, if you will, and that mark, it let me know that I made a complete full rotation. Here I'm letting out just a little bit more line. I think I'm around the 15 foot mark now. And here in a minute, I'm actually going to change directions. And here I'm going to start swimming in the opposite direction. And of course, I found the ladder. Now, there's a reason I did that. I knew that I was getting to the end of my radius, my search radius, uh, and I was going to have to move into another direction. Well, based off where I made my entry at, I knew the direction of where the ladder wouldn't be. So since I've made a complete um, search, the complete radius, I knew not to go back. In this case, it was actually north. I knew that the ladder wasn't going to be any further north than what I was. So I wanted to turn and, and go in the opposite direction. So I was actually changing from a circle search into a half moon search or what some people call a sweep search. And so that's one reason I changed direction. Of course, I just happened across it as I did that. Um, a couple other techniques I was using here. Another way uh, you've seen in a previous video of how to tell where you're at underwater. I was actually swimming under two boats at that point, and so I could see the shadows of those boats from the surface. I could tell that it was getting darker, and that kind of let me know exactly where I was at as well. So here I'm just winding my reel back up and I'm dragging the ladder along with me and instead of just coming up where I found the ladder and handing it up, like I said there's 30 or 40 boats out here at the sandbar. I wanted to come back up that anchor line where I knew there wouldn't be a boat that was just going to run me over. So I come back up to the reel system, I'm getting all the entanglement out here. Um, unfortunately when you run a line sometimes it gets entangled but I'm going to disconnect it here from the anchor and resecure my SMB and my reel here. Uh, once I've got it secured to me, then I'll grab back onto the ladder and then slowly swim up the uh, anchor line just so that I have a reference point coming up and so that it's safe. I know that I'll be coming up at the boat where I need to come up versus coming out in the open lake and, and possibly getting run over by another boater. But here I'm securing my reel and my buoy. And then of course I'll clip it back to one of my waist D-rings once I've got it secured, and then of course I'll grab the ladder and bring it up to the surface. Alright guys, so I just got finished up. As you can see, it was a very successful search. And as I stated before, anytime that you do a search like this, safety is always the major concern here. Uh, but with it being flat where I was at, I didn't really have to use a down line because it was already an anchor line there or a reference line. So I just simply tied into the anchor with my reel. I knew what my depth was, so I knew what my search radius was. So I was able to circle about three or four times before I come across it. Then I came back to the anchor line itself to make my ascent simply because I know I would be coming up at the boat where I needed to be versus coming up in the, just in the open lake where I run the chance of running up underneath another boat or another boat hitting me. But guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me. Definitely share it. If you got any questions, 
please put it down in the comment section below. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.